In Europe, you know better than anybody how the staggering humanitarian crisis is affecting the life, the daily life of politics and of the social fabric of Europe. Unprecedented challenges and with characteristic resilience, I'm proud to say and grateful for the fact that Europe is stepping up to meet these challenges. Chancellor Merkel and other leaders have demonstrated remarkable courage. I know it's difficult. Last night at dinner, I heard people telling me how it has cost her. We all understand. That's the nature of political courage in helping so many who need help. And across this continent, communities are taking in those who are fleeing violence and saying no to the voices of intolerance and racism within societies. Now, I know how difficult it is to live our values. It is hard, but we do try. It's one of the things that binds us together. It's one of the great things that brings us here to Munich, is our common commitment to those values, which in the end make the difference in defining what life is really all about. In the United States, in the United States, we recognize that while this crisis is not as real on our shores on a daily basis, we have a moral obligation to stand with our partners and to do more to assist in the relief effort. And that is why I was able to announce in London that we will contribute an additional 925 million to the already 4.5 billion we have contributed to Syrian refugees, making us, I think, the largest donor specifically to this plight of Syrian refugees providing emergency care, education, and job help 